Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. The Virginia Ship Repair Foundation has sponsored a Lego competition for middle school students for the past 10 years. This year, the students built a Lego model of the ship, but with a digital twist. Here to tell us about the competition and how it helps our students is Bill Crow, president of the Virginia Ship Repair Association. Bill, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you very much for having us out. So first, let's start with the Virginia Ship Repair Foundation. Tell us about that. Okay, the uh, Virginia Ship Repair Foundation uh, is the, what I would describe as indeed the foundation for the Virginia Ship Repair Association. Ship, uh, Virginia Ship Repair Association uh, has 244 member companies, so that if you think ship repair and building in Hampton Roads is not far reaching, I think that would indicate to you otherwise. The foundation is really the supporting arm to the, the association with regards to research, with regards to development, uh, and with regards to enhanced awareness across the region to make sure that everyone understands the significance and importance of ship repair and building. So it focuses a little bit on education and workforce development. Yes, the uh, the the other the other the other real arm of that is is that uh, uh, we want to make sure and what the association are, uh, that that has come through the foundation is uh, we have a shortage of workers. Uh, that, that uh, we are going to be facing over the next several years. Uh, the average age of our workers is somewhere over 50 years old. So by the uh, end of the, let's say 2020, uh, there's gonna be several thousand that we're gonna have to end up refilling so and replacing. So what the industry wants and what the association is gonna need is, is a workforce recruitment and workforce development type things into place. And that's what the foundation provides that supporting arm of what I described before. To get skilled workers into the pipeline. Absolutely. So let's talk about the Lego competition. How does it work and Really, these students were not building ships out of the little tiny Legos that we think of, right? No, absolutely not. As you said, uh, as you began the program, uh, the, the, this has been in existence for 10 years now and came to being through the foundation as one, one ability and effort for uh, enhancement and awareness of the local community of ship repair and ship building. Uh, one of the things that we've, we've certainly, you know, and I think everyone knows at this point is, is that uh, if you wait until someone is ready to graduate from high school or they're two years into college or uh, whatever it may be, you probably waited too late. So what we wanted to do and what LEGO is attempting to provide is uh, uh, an ability to bring awareness into the middle schools across Hampton Roads so that the students understand ship repair uh, and shipbuilding and its important and significance. Uh, the other part that it does is it also brings to those students uh, many, 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 many other things that are, are kind of ripple effect, good ripple effects that, that occur from the Lego. And as you said, uh, it's sometimes a misnomer. Everyone thinks, oh, they're getting little Lego pieces and they're actually building a ship with that. No, it's all digital. It's all done uh, via, via tech, tech, technology, uh, and I'm certainly not one of those types, but uh, it's done uh, using the CAD system and it's, it's done built uh, through the computer. Uh, and then because of the number of blocks that you would use and the number of blocks the computer calculates would give you an efficiency ratio of, of, of uh, how you built and what you've done in regards to the modification that you may have done so or the, the building. So the students participate on teams, right? Yes, yes, yes. What, uh, what, what, uh, what we do is, is we go out to all of the middle schools in Hampton Roads, and if you're watching this and you're not a player in the Lego competition and you're in middle school or you're a middle school, sci middle school science math uh, teacher or principal, um, there's some monetary reward with this also, which is very, very good. But yes, we recruit out and send out um, information on this right at the beginning of every school year. Uh, and then we cut off sign-offs right at the end of the first semester or kind of at the end of, the, of that calendar year as kids are breaking for Christmas. When we come back, we have all of our teams that uh, would have registered, and that's kind of the deadline. And then from January until about April, 
uh, or excuse me, January until about March, maybe April, depending on when we can get the, the facilities to do it, uh, we conduct the competition. What happens is, is that those students, and, and this is the great part about our industry, is that the people in it are so very passionate and very much love what they do, is that we have technical advisors that come out from the industry that volunteer to go into the schools and to work with those students to help them and to teach them and to make them aware and to point them in the right direction in regards to the project. So students work with teachers and industry technical advisors. They use CAD software to develop their designs. And then is there a, a presentation portion? Right. Yes, as I was saying, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of very good ripple effects that occur from the Lego competition. One of them, and of course our main goal and objective with the LEGO competition is, is to make sure that uh, the, the middle school students are, are very, 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 very well aware of the fact of what, and, and become more aware and, and maybe will strike a chord and you know, pull at their heartstrings that this might be something that might I would want to do. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, and that's what we want. That's, that's our goal and achievement with the student. The other thing that it does that, uh, that, that, that are of value uh, in regards to any, in, anybody in, in life and in growing in life skills is um, you, you have to participate in teams, so it is a team effort. It, you know, teaches you how to come to consensus in regards to the agreement of what you're going to do and how you're going to do it amongst the students uh, at the middle school level, uh, which, you know, may be harder than, I don't know, maybe maybe it's not so hard, but it could be could be hard at that level, but it, it's a life learned lesson mm -hmm. at that point. The other part is their written skills. They have to write it down and so that the judges, we also have judges from our industry that, that graciously volunteer their time to come in to judge the competition. So they would provide a written report to the, the judges, but the other value and, and final value of it is, is that they do have to provide an oral, oral presentation to the judges in regards to what their project is, what they're going to do. They also, uh, during this, have to bring up um, uh, to, and, and point out to the judges is they have to go in and do the research of what does it take to be a ship repair, ship builder, from an electrician to a pipe fitter to a welder and to all of those sort of things. So they're building public speaking skills, presentation Absolutely. skills, right. teamwork skills. Sounds like definitely a win-win all the way around for the students who participate, as well as uh, getting maybe some people into the shipbuilding pipeline. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and, and, and for us, of course, that's, that's, the, that's the end run goal and objective. Uh, the other thing with regards to, to the students is, is that, you know, we wanna make sure that, uh, that, that it's, uh, this year we happen to break records. Uh, we broke records in regards to the number of schools participating. I think we had 17 schools and about 170 students. That's, that's, that's phenomenal. That's over double of what we've had in the past, and I'd like to see it to grow even more to where every middle school uh, across Hampton Roads is actually participating. Well, Bill, thank you so much for being here with us today to tell us about this. Sounds like a wonderful competition and uh, great work that you're doing to um, encourage kids and help them to hopefully find some career opportunities. Well, thank you very much for having me on and thank you for allowing us to uh, uh, hopefully enhance more awareness of ship repair and shipbuilding here in the area and how important and significant it is in regards to the area, Absolutely but the national security Absolutely critical to our asset. region, yes. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment, information, and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.